Let's check on these worms and see what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do is just check the paper here, make sure there's no worms on it. I have some roly pulleys on there so they can help start breaking down that paper, which will make it available to the worms. We have more bean sprouts going on. Now, if you remember last week, I buried the bean sprouts along with the regular feeding over in this area. So we'll take a look at that. And then we'll get into this week's feeding and check in. So let's first check on the feeding area from last week. So it looks like we've got some worm activity going on. Now the bean sprouts that were buried in here uh, have not been broken down yet, which is to be expected. And as we dig down, right, let's really get down here. There we go. So most, or pretty much all the blended food is gone. And a lot of the bean sprouts that I buried in here are pretty much gone too, although there's still traces of them. Now I was kind of curious of whether we would see any um, worm cocoons here in the feeding area. And I can see there's one right there. So as the worms are eating, they're also uh, breeding. And we have a nice mature worm right there. So that's a good sign. It's showing that we're increasing our population in addition to finding all the small, you know, immature worms that's mixed in through throughout this uh, throughout this bin. So, so a lot of the material that was in here, the blended food is gone, but the bean sprouts that I just kind of buried still needs more time to get broken down this week's feeding though so i fed a lot here in the center and i fit over here on the right so i'm going to put this feeding over here on this left side where we haven't done as much feeding so i will flip this up just a little bit we can also check on our piece of wood that we have buried in here so pretty hard We'll leave that in place. Kind of flip this up just a little bit. Oops, sorry, hit the camera there. Fuck that up a little bit here on this side. Make sure we get a good mix of all the materials. Now the moisture in here is looking really good. Most of the leaves I put in here uh, have been pretty much broken down. There's still a few pieces of them like this. But most of it has been eaten up or broken down in one way or another. All right, so let's put the feeding in. And kind of like what I did last week, I'm going to put these bean sprouts over here on the bottom. This week, I'm also going to add some dried up carrot tops. And these are quite dry, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my hand to kind of crush them and break them up. That will provide a little extra food for the worms as it gets wet. And since this is pretty dry, I think I'm going to go ahead and water that down real quick. Okay, with that water down, get a little bit of moisture going in there to start with. I'm going to go ahead and do this week's worm feeding, which consists of potatoes, some potato skins, onions, carrots, banana, and some broccoli. All that in there. Add a little bit of powdered eggshell. And then I'm going to go ahead and bury that. I think I'm also going to go ahead and add some more crushed up leaves to this. So here's more leaves. Now these are pretty dry also. So I will also wet this material down. Okay, with that wet it down, I'll go and lightly cover all this. 
So all the worms have easy access to it. And let's go ahead and check on the center real quick. Oops, digging up some of that stuff I just put down. Let's not do that. I do want to kind of fluff up this bin a little bit. And as I'm doing that, I'm just kind of checking on the worms. So there's a lot of immature worms in this, but since I'm finding cocoons, I know that mature worms are finding each other and doing their thing. Just fluffing this up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Bean sprouts I dug up, I'll just put them back on the bottom here and bury those. The bin is really changing pretty fast. And I could actually use some of this material for almost like a potting soil. Probably not quite a seed starting soil at this point. But if I wanted to add a little bit of this to some potting mix, I think it would work pretty well for that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.